Hi guys, I'm Paul from Urban Kajikters. So on today's video, I want to feature the cutting of the pastel hep hag possible hat albino female to the pastel engine pinstripe pied and the pastel fire yellow belly pied. I used two males because I really wasn't fussed which male got the clutch and if both did, it would have been a bonus. Now the aim of this uh, clutch was to uh, hatch plenty of females, fingers crossed, to haul back for obviously my future in the pie project. So I'm going to feature that and then I'm going to feature the just spectacular chocolate clown with no eyes and the spectacular spider clown with eyes, uh, both possible hat or beano. I won't feature the normal because you've all seen them, but I just want to show them two off. And then on next week's video, I'll do another cut in and feature the spot nose clown clutch, which what is just unbelievable. And I've just hatched more unbelievable stuff. So following on from my rocky start that turned out to be not as rocky as I first thought, uh, I'm just absolutely loving this season. Uh, just smashing the odds and doing fantastically well. And I hope this momentum keeps going. So one thing you may not have noticed is last at the end of last season, I didn't do a top 10 like Billy Mutation Creations just in that everybody else were doing kind of top 10s. I didn't even hatch top uh, 10 holdbacks. I hatched more than 10 snakes, but not 10 that I needed to project me forward. This year is going to make up for it. So it's just been fantastic so far. Uh, that's all I can say and I'm really pleased I can take you guys along the ride to show that it can start off rocky but it can soon smooth out and become an awesome season. So without further ado we'll take a close look at the cutting and then the clowns. Cheers! So here we are with another cutting bid. Check this out. I had a boo bag that just constantly went mouldy here through incubation. Uh, and I was always wiping it and really caring for it is the first baby to pick. Uh, hopefully this baby will be a nice, strong, healthy baby, but it will be hard to tell, obviously, until he or she properly comes out. But yeah, check that out. First egg to pick. So I'm just gonna uh, now cut the eggs and make sure this one can make an easy exit. So this pairing was a pastel, het pied, possible het albino female. Uh, bred to a pastel ng pinstripe pie so i'd really like to hit uh, the uh, ng pinstripe now i've got an ng pinstripe pie i really like to hit another pastel ng pinstripe pie, pie female because i've got a male so i'm just trying not to get too close to the head because these scissors are sharp just kind of pulling it. That actually looked pied for a second then, so I'm gonna stop messing about and take a better look. Oh, it was a pied. I actually thought it was a straight pastel with that head. So it's, there we go. So, and it's, I think it's not just a, a straight pastel pied. I think it's somewhat better. But it just shows you, I don't know who it was, but a while ago someone was saying don't incubate blue eggs, it's pointless. I went on that post and said, I've hatched many and they've turned out to be fantastic snakes, good up, good combinations typically. Uh, every blue egg I've hatched, I think it's been somewhat worth pretty much keeping. Um, oops, sorry guys, I forgot to look at the camera. Uh, I think it is straight pastel pattern, I'm just trying to see pattern. Yeah, I'm not going to mess with it too much. But it looks like a relatively high white pastel pie. So that's great. Great start. So this female I produced many years ago and it's a female kind of sometimes question if it's worth keeping her, but because I'm not limited yet on space, I've kept her. So it's clutches like these that make me realise her worth. So another pied. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, that is incredible. Jeez. I think it's just a, a super pastel pie. But oh my God, that's amazing. Wow. 
Well, it's my business, it's my, it's my birthday tomorrow. It won't be tomorrow when you see this video, but it's my birthday tomorrow. And this clutch is supposed to match on my birthday. That would have been a nice birthday present. Amazing, amazing baby. So, just incredible the colours. Uh, we sometimes lose. So I'm gonna, yeah, sorry, it was it was acting a bit too still, and I thought, oh, hopefully not having a bit more bad luck. Look at, I don't know if you can make it out, but it's just got some like wacky, crazy pans. Right, let's carry on. So, <laughs> free for free. My luck may be turning round. It's because I kicked someone's dog over there. Um, I've never ever seen anything like that. What the heck is that? I haven't told if it's attached to the stomach. No, it's not. Thank God for that. I was really worried then. I thought something disgusting was attached to the stomach. Right, so that looks like a super pastel enchi, possibly pinstripe pad. Amazing. Just amazing. Well, I, I really needed a good result. Um, I, you know, I have been feeling a bit uh, gutted with some of the outcomes. I know I've hatched some unbelievable stuff, but everything that's unbelievable I've hatched has had some sort of defect. So I needed some good luck. Oh, another pad, wow. I'm really seeing that female's worth. Right, so. That looks like a normal pad. I'm sorry about the camera angle, guys. Keep forgetting. So a really, really bright orange normal pad. So if I could choose, in fact, I'm not going to say because every time I've chose, I've got some opposite, but I will just roll with it. Oh, another pad, no way, no way. Huh. Well, that's just, oh my God. <laughs> Look at that. Jesus. That's maybe the super engine. Uh, super engine. That was super engine. Uh, the super pinstripe. Pinchy. Super pastel, sorry. I don't know what I'm saying. Super pastel engine pad, I think. Wow. So there we go. Five for five. Uh, a hat to a visual, it should have been around a 50 50 split, and they're all pos hat, potentially pos hat albina. Um, they won't be sold as that, it will just be a note on the side for any for anyone that buys one, it'll just be a note on the side that there is a, a chance the baby could be hat for albina. So that's really that's really turned my outlook around because I, I, I have been feeling pretty hard done by and you cannot be disappointed with that fantastic outcome so I'll look I'll really look forward to showing you these when they're out the egg right guys so first of all I'm going to show you the amazing spider clown I hatched so this turned out to be female I had no intentions of holding a spider clown back back because it's not a combo I need to project me forward but she is just so spectacular I'm gonna find it difficult to sell her. I've currently got her at, uh, I think, 600 pound on my website, but I'm actually thinking of, of keeping her because she is just absolutely spectacular. Her colors are unreal. I've hatched so many spider clowns, not loads, but I've hatched enough to know what they're supposed to look like. And I can't help but think she's either 100% hypo or the chocolate is playing some sort of influence because i'm definitely not convinced she has chocolate in her because chocolate creates so much pattern on clowns that i would expect to see way more pattern but she's just absolutely stunning check that head out it is just amazing almost got the sort of gas mask look like uh, some of justin snakes she's just Kind of almost too good to kind of let go. So I'm going to think if I'm going to let her go. But check that head out. So that is the amazing spider clown. So even though that female, in my opinion, is amazing, this thing is just on another level. 
I am so, so grateful uh, to, ju to Justin Kabolka for opening my eyes, ironically, hatching a eyeless snake. Um, in chocolate, I never owned a chocolate uh, ball python moth and never planned on it. Just like I once said, I'd never own a spot nose and I didn't want leopard in my projects. And that's not a lack of vision because I have some fantastic visions and I've hatched some world's first that are just spectacular. But sometimes you just have to be led into certain things and shown the way. And I have no problem giving credit to those who opened my eyes. And this is probably in my top three favorite snakes that I own and that I've produced. So I am noticing it's making the countertop look a little bit blue. That's not me messing with a pattern, uh, pattern. messing with the colors. That's just genuine, genuinely how the iPhone's processing it. But the I hope the color, it looks like it's coming through on camera. It looks like it's kind of there, but this is a very orange color and then just really deep blacks with like a really dark burnt orange chocolatey color in the center. So just amazing, uh, fantastic snake. So if this is the first time you've watched one of my videos or you're not sure what I'm talking about, I hatched a snake with no eyes. That looks like an eye, but it's not. And then obviously a bump on the other side where the eye is supposed to be. So this is a completely eyeless snake, but it shouldn't really matter moving forwards. I've heard it could be a recessive trait. I'm not convinced to be totally honest with you. I think it's just one of those things. Uh, my son was born with Marcus Gunjaw Wink syndrome, which means one of his eyes is almost permanently closed all the time until he eats or sucks on like a lollipop or something. And then it flutters like he's uh, blinking. And just with respects to him, I wasn't disappointed in hatching. I was disappointed in the beginning, but I have no problems moving forward with this snake. Uh, just, just not only show uh, respect to my son, but also you, you're gonna hatch, uh, you're gonna hatch things that aren't exactly how they're supposed to be when you're playing God and mixing all these snakes together. But I'm just absolutely over the moon with just how amazing this snake turned out. Just spectacular. So that is the Chocolate Clown Pos Het Hypo. Hope you like this video, guys. If you have, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't, give it two thumbs down. And I'll talk to you on the next video because I've got some more amazing snakes to show you. Cheers, guys.